Aren't you a little tired of seeing creatures with the same appearance all the time? Wouldn't you like to change the moveset of Skyrim's creatures a bit? Today, I made a video for people like this. Yes. That's right. Today I'd like to introduce to you how to remake the appearance and animation of your creatures. Based on the time of filming, the video was produced by reflecting the modes released on Tez Nexus as much as possible. So please don't leave in the middle of the video and watch it until the end. Then let's get started. The first mod you will need to install to remake creatures is Ultimate Combat. Ultimate Combat is a full combat overhaul mod, and the reason I emphasize this mod is because Ultimate Combat adds attack movesets for creatures. Ultimate Combat adds a total of 42 new animations, including various attacks, dash attacks, continuous attacks, evasion, great magic, coordinated actions, and anger. Aside from this, it's a great mod that adds a lot of really different features, such as improving enemy AI, adding a stagger system, adding a time block feature, and more. Personally, Ultimate Combat is an important mod enough to consider as the first basement of Skyrim combat modding. This is because Ultimate Combat has a strong tendency to apply the mod's features to all Skyrim actors, not specific enemies. And because those features are essential features that must be present in order to improve Skyrim's combat system. The second mod you will need to install to remake creatures is Ultimate Dragon and Distar Dragon combination. Ultimate Dragon is an overhaul mode for dragon combat. Adds over 20 dragon animations, adds dragon shout feature, falls down, enrages and rotational damage features. It not only adds various animations, including combat animations, but also adds various functions, such as adding some of the magic used by dragons. And if you use the Distar Dragon Overhaul with Ultimate Dragon, you can have more dragon attack animations. The Distar Dragon Overhaul currently adds a total of 6 types of dragon attacks. Ultimate Dragon adds immersive attack animations, while Distar Dragon adds flashy attack animations. So different dragon attack animations are displayed every moment, which will further enhance your immersion. For the appearance of the dragon, I chose Got Dragon Replacer, maybe you will be satisfied. The third remake creature I will introduce to you is the Lurker. The Lurker is one of the creatures that you will naturally encounter as you progress through the Dragonborn quest in Soltzheim. The head looks like a fish, but it's a really grotesque creature, and there is a mod that can remake this lurker. It is the new creature animation series lurker. The advantage of this animation mode is that the DAR condition value is set to use new creature animation as the lurker's health decreases, while leaving the vanilla motion as it is. In other words, as the lurker's health gets low, it will start using new creature animation. If I'm talking about this part as an advantage, boss creatures in Monster Hunter or Vindictus go berserk when they are on the verge of dying, and at this time, they start to attack the surroundings tremendously. These appearances give the player the feeling that the creatures are struggling on the brink of death, making these creatures feel like they are really alive. New creature animation makes the lurker feel like this, and if you use new creature animation, your lurker will not simply repeat the same motion like a robot, but will become an immersive lurker that produces various animations depending on the situation. The fourth creature to be remade is Bear, Wolf, and Sabercat. The reason why I introduce these creatures to remake all at once is that this mod I will introduce will change the movesets of Bear, Wolf, and Sabercat to all. That mod is the Distar Creatures series. The Distar Creatures series will change the attack animations of your Skyrim Bear, Wolf and Sabercat creatures even more. Was the Wolf's head butting attack animation too annoying? Then you should try the Distar Creatures series. The Distar Creatures series will now change the attack animations of these creatures that were nodding in place to be more realistic and dynamic. I also selected the Bears of the North Retexture mod for Bear, True Wolves of Skyrim for Wolf, and Fluffworks for Sabercat. 
And in order to properly output the retexture of creatures like the video, you need to arrange the mods in the order of Fluffworks, Bears of the North, and True Wolves of Skyrim. The fifth to introduce is new creature attack animation Reekling and Goblin. This mod adds attack animations for Reekling in Soltzheim and Goblin, a Creation Club mod. Adds various attack animations such as back kick, multiple scratches, jump attack, and throwing animation while running away. This is a mod made by the same creator as the mod that adds the lurker animation introduced earlier. Personally, I think it's not a bad attack animation. Reeklings and goblins are small creatures that are suitable for large movements such as jumping attacks, and this mod expresses these movements well. The sixth creature to remake is the Draugr. For Draugr, there are many animation mods to install. I recommend Coronado's Draugr Reanimate series. Coronado's is a representative creator who reanimated Draugr. His Draugr reanimated mods include Unarmed, Spear, Magic Loop Casting, Stagger, and Draugr Bleed Out. You can find the address of the modes conveniently because all source links are written down in the description of this video. The Draugr Reanimate series can use this mod along with the aforementioned Ultimate Combat. Almost completely replacing Draugr's animations, Ultimate Combat and Coronado's Draugr mod combination is probably the most perfect Draugr reanimated combination at the moment. In my case, I replaced the Draugr's appearance via Draugr replacer like Hive Enemy and new female Draugr. However, in the case of the Draugr replacer like Hive Enemy replacer, it expresses the appearance of the Draugr too differently, so please choose according to your preference. The seventh creature to be remade is the Troll. And Elden Room is a mod that adds animations to trolls. You may think this is surprising, but Elden Room adds charging attack capabilities to trolls. This attack is output with a separate stagger, and the player is knocked backwards when hit by a charging attack. For the troll's appearance, you can use Fluffworks, which was introduced earlier. Fluffworks is suitable as an appearance replacer for troll creatures because it expresses the fur of each creature very delicately. I will finish all the guide videos that can remake creatures above. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Setting subscription like notifications is very helpful for channel growth. And if you buy me a cup of coffee through Patreon, it will really help. Anyway, see you next time.